Will the class of 2019 please be seated? Now presenting the Dean, Academic Officers, Faculty of the College, and our honored speakers. Will everyone please stand for the national anthem? Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dean of the College of Behavioral and Social Sciences, Gregory Ball. Members of the Dean's Office, Department Chair, members of the faculty and staff, our distinguished speakers, parents, relatives, friends, and finally, the 219, 2019 graduates, welcome to the winter commencement of the College of Behavioral and Social Sciences that we call BSOS. First and foremost, congratulations to the graduating class. Some of you thought this day might never come, but it's here and let's enjoy it. I first want to reflect with you briefly on what your education means. It's important to remember you have learned, no matter what your major, critical skills in reading, writing, oral communication. You have learned how to collect and evaluate data and understand how this can contribute to data-driven decision-making. 
These skills are things that you should cherish and build upon and learn. They will serve you well no matter where your life takes you, what endeavor. But you also have taken a deep dive into an individual field so that you can address and understand some of the major problems facing our society today. Think of the things that we study in Vsauce, political gridlock, crime, drug abuse, mental illness, challenges in how we sense and perceive, poverty, economic development, ethnic and racial dimensions of social justice, cultural competency, and social dimensions of land use and the response to climate change. All these are among the great challenges that our world faces that you will be leaving here to take on, we hope. You have worked with faculty who have trained you well in these areas, but have also conducted significant research to help address these problems. And I want to remind you that you should be proud of the methods and approaches. Social science research can be underappreciated by some, typically getting comments like it's just common sense or my grandmother knew that. After all, we all are social scientists in a way or another with our theories. But it's important to remember that a lot of the things we think are true, that must be true, require examination and research. I remember well when there were arguments about whether needle exchange programs were just to promote drug abuse. When in reality, if tied to treatment programs, needle exchange programs can improve health and, and actually block drug abuse. But we often make assumptions and infer patterns too easily. Well, one of our colleagues who's here today, Catherine Abraham in economics and, and John Haltewanger, they have been studying the so-called gig economy. People were saying that the entire economy has transformed, when in reality they find that it's really just transportation, that it is not as widespread, that it is more resistant uh, to change than we thought. The chair of our economics department, who's here as well with us today, Judy Hellerstein, told me about a fascinating study concerning economic changes in divorce. I always thought, you know, couples are under most stress when there's economic difficulties. But in reality, the opposite is true. When times are good, that's when people start to look and say, maybe I should change mates and not move on. And, and move on. Whereas when times are tough, they bond together. These sorts of counterintuitive findings bring home to us the importance of continuing to investigate social phenomenon. And all of you, I hope, will go forward and do this in one way or another as you pursue your careers. We all want to change society and have an impact, but to be effective, it should be based on research and study. You now have these tools. Go forth and use them. Now it gives me great pleasure to introduce the chairs and directors of the academic units participating in today's ceremony. These chairs and directors serve multiple roles as professors, scholars, and administrators. They are distinguished educational leaders who give of themselves both in service and in teaching. In addition to managing their departments, um, they, they, they work for the greater good. I ask each of them to stand when their name is called. Professor Oscar Barberin, Chair of the Department of African American Studies. <laughs> Professor Paul Shackle, Chair of the Department of Anthropology. <laughs> Professor Gary LaFree, Chair of the Department of Criminology and Criminal Justice. <laughs> Professor Judith Hellerstein, Chair of the Department of Economics. Professor Christopher Justice, Chair of the Department of Geographical Sciences. <laughs> Professor Margaret Pearson, Interim Chair of the Department of Government and Politics. <laughs> Professor Colleen Worthington, Acting Chair of the Department of Hearing and Speech Sciences. <laughs> Professor Michael Doherty, Chair of the Department of Psychology. Professor Patricio Korsinovich, Chair of the Department of Sociology. <laughs> Professor Mark Carroll, Director of the Environmental Science and Policy Program. 
Professor Catherine Abraham, professor in the joint program in survey methodology, filling in for the director, Frauke Kreuter. I am very proud of the colleges, faculty, and staff, and would they all stand and receive the thanks of the graduates and their guests. We now want to recognize one of the most important groups of people here today. Parents, spouses, and in some cases children of these graduates, you have shared in their achievement in many ways. We now invite all of you to stand uh, while we thank you, please. Thank you for all you have done. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce today's speaker. Tori Smith graduated in 2010 from the University of Maryland College Park with a BA in Criminology and Criminal Justice. So he's one of our alums. Two-time Super Bowl champion, philanthropist, entrepreneur, and proud Turk, Tori Smith established himself as a leader both on and off the football field during his time at the University of Maryland. Smith was a star player for the Maryland Terrapin football team and was drafted by the Baltimore Ravens in the second round of the 2011 NFL Draft. He earned his first Super Bowl ring with the Ravens in 2013 and became one of Baltimore's most successful all-time receivers. He won a second Super Bowl ring in 2018 with the Philadelphia Eagles. Smith announced his retirement in September after a total of eight years in the NFL. Although originally from Virginia, Smith boasts about becoming a man in Maryland as he met his wife, Chanel Williams, in college and the couple had two of their children while residing in Baltimore. The Smiths are proud parents of five-year-old Tori T.J. Jeremiah, three-year-old Cameron James, and 10-month-old Corey Lynn Smith. In 2011, Tori and Chanel created a nonprofit organization, the Tori Smith Family Fund which works toward creating a society that is equitable and compassionate by assisting the communities in which the Smiths have been fortunate to live and work. We are proud to welcome him back. Please join me in greeting Mr. Tory Smith. Thank you, appreciate the ovation. Um, first of all, congratulations. Clap it up for y'all one time. I'm honored and humbled to be standing here in front of y'all today. And I still can't believe Vsauce trusted me with the responsibility of giving this commencement speech. If you know anything about me, you know I'm not afraid to voice my opinion or share my thoughts to anyone. So much so, my tweets get me in trouble all the time with my wife. So that's just me. But seriously, it's amazing that about 10 years ago, I remember sitting in Professor Brooks' class. She's in here somewhere, I saw her. There she is, <laughs> voicing my opinion, asking questions, talking about things that matter. And it's special to me now because the same things I was doing back then, I'm able to do the same thing on a national stage to continue to push towards equality and a push towards criminal justice reform. All of that started attending this school right here, the best university in the world. So something for me that was simply, I thought was just me being who I am, is now turned into a purpose for me. So for me to be standing here in front of you right now, it means the world to me. Nine years ago, I was in your shoes. I graduated at this exact same commencement. I remember my family standing over here. My mom was yelling when she wasn't supposed to. Uh, <laughs> it was a big day for my family. And I just remember her thinking, there's only two things standing between me and finally receiving my diploma. My last name Smith. So I'm in the back of the line. And the fact that the commencement speaker could take all day. So y'all don't have to worry about that. That's not going to be me. When I was in Baltimore, I had played with a great coach by the name of Jen Caldwell. He was the offensive coordinator when we won the Super Bowl. And uh, he taught me the importance of the five Bs. To be brief, brother, be brief. So that's what I'm going to do. Y'all will get to your degree right here soon. I was thinking about the words I could offer to you. And that would have really a true meaning and real impact. I reflected on my postgraduate career. 
What were the things that made me successful? What were the things I wish that I knew when I was in college? What would I change if I could? There were so many lessons I could share, but I chose the three that I felt were essential to my happiness and my success. The first was to simply enjoy the ride. It's easy to get caught up in time with your own expectations. I'm sure many of you are expecting to graduate, land your dream job, make, make a lot of money, but the reality of it is that just may not happen, and that's okay. Some things simply don't happen overnight. It's not a reflection of who you are or your abilities. Sometimes there are just more hoops to jump through. That's just life. You have to embrace where you are, continue to work, take shots, and more importantly, be ready when your opportunity do, does come so that you are ready for it. My years in the NFL taught me the importance of time. Literally from my rookie season, making sure that I was ready, I honestly wasn't. I wasn't ready for my opportunity at first. And even to my transition out, you realize that every phase runs its course. Things don't always happen the way we plan it to, and that's okay. The most important thing is to not play that dangerous game where you allow doubt to set in, where you question yourself, whether you can do it, whether you're making the right decision, just continue to press forward. Where you are today doesn't have to be where you are tomorrow. That leads you to my second point. As you transition to your next phase of life, Forget about networking. Build real relationships. I know that sounds crazy because literally from the day you walked on campus or your parents or whoever, that's how you get to know everyone. Network, network, network. It's been drilled into our brains. But what do we even really do when we go out and we network? We go on this quest to collect as many business cards as we can. We participate in generic, sometimes even uncomfortable or awkward conversations with people that we, hope, that we don't know in hopes that one day we'll be able to get something in return. We shake hands, we exchange words, and then we move on. What I found to be more effective, especially now that I'm done playing football, is that the power of, of real relationships. So as you begin to contact people on LinkedIn and collect a million business cards, shift your focus. It's in our nature to care about someone that cares about us. We should approach business relationships the same way. Don't just go to the table with an ask. Figure out what you can do and what you bring to the table. Who wants to be in a one-sided relationship? The answer to that is no one. Let's be honest. The people that you want to connect with, they can tell when you want something. Matter of fact, they know you want something. What separates you from the other thousand interviews or business cards? Literally in front of us right now, there's so many talented people in here, 200 plus sitting right here in front of me. It's full of gifted individuals. There are plenty of people here that want and apply for the exact same job. Your personal relationship along with your talent is gonna be, be the difference between you getting a job or the next person. Building genuine relationships is key as you advance in your career. As you continue your journey, know that you're capable of doing amazing things. As the Vsauce mission statement says, be the solution to the world's greatest challenges. Don't shy away from the responsibility of doing something more meaningful. You are prepared to help change this world for the better. Our university is the perfect example of the way society for all should work. Our diversity, our understanding, our respect of other cultures is our strength. Remember that as you become the next successful leader, leader of an organization or team. Speaking of success, have you ever sat down and thought about your own definition of success? I'm not talking about the Instagram or the Facebook version. I'm talking about your version. I mean, for me, we moved around a lot when I was younger. We weren't stable. And because of that, we had a lot of different challenges. So for me, my definition of success is stability. Knowing where I'm going to eat or what I'm going to eat, knowing where I'm going to lay my head that night, and knowing that I had the opportunity to work and provide for a job, and I know that that money's coming in, that's success to me. It doesn't matter if you're Bill Gates or the janitor. If you know where you're gonna live and you know what kind of food you're gonna eat at night, that's success. I encourage you when you leave here to think about it and write down your version of success so that way you know what you're working towards. Lastly, I have a secret that I wanna tell you. Some of the people that you wanna be like or connect with 
they don't have it all figured out. Don't compare your life to anyone. Live your life and do the things that make you happy. Protect your heart and protect your mind. Never forget your worth, even when the world does. Remember that you are loved, even when it may not feel like it. Know that you were born and built to be successful. You only have one life to live. Make sure it's full of purpose and love. When you leave this building today, make sure that you are doing your part to make this world a better place. Thank you for your time. Go Terps. Thank you, Tori, for those inspiring words and for your continuing uh, example to us all. I now have the great pleasure of introducing a remarkable student, Ms. Taylor Amari Smith. <laughs> Ms. Smith is a graduating senior with a double major in criminology, criminal justice, and government and politics, and a double minor in law and society and the Innovation and Entrepreneurship Program in the Smith School of Business. Originally from Baltimore, Smith received a full tuition scholarship to attend University of Maryland based on her academics, leadership, and service to her community. During her time at UMD, she has been involved with 15, 14, excuse me, National Honor Societies and held academic chair positions in four, including the Zeta Beta chapter of the Order of Omega Greek Honor Society and the Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Smith has also held three ambassadorships, been named to the Dean's List six consecutive semesters, and served as a teaching assistant and student liaison, and received the Julian Davidson Academic Achievement Award and a $10,000 M-Law Fellowship, $10,000 M-Law Fellowship. Through the College of Behavioral and Social Sciences, Smith had the opportunity to intern with Marilyn Mosby, the state's attorney for Baltimore City, as well as with the Public Defender Service in Washington, D.C. She also participated in the Public Policy and International Affairs Graduate School Program at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Please join me in saluting Ms. Taylor Maury Smith. Thank you everyone and Dean Ball for that introduction. The journey of a thousand miles begins with the very first step. My experience at UMD has been nothing short of a journey. Let me take you all the way back to fall 2016. Freshman year when being away from home was terrifying, studying became a, man became a mandatory activity that I wasn't used to, and just figuring it all out became my motto. I was driven by my high school successes and encouraged by many staff and peer mentors on a high that would soon come crashing down. I was lost. I found myself second guessing my place here at Maryland. As an African American young woman from Baltimore City, I would often compare myself to my peers and conclude that I would never measure up because of where I come from and the things that I've been through and seen. These are the same things that have at one point in time given me my voice and set me apart from my peers. With aspirations of becoming an attorney one day, in my classes I would feel hushed by the popular vote or shame when the statistics and surveys weren't just numbers and match what I knew to be home. It wasn't until sophomore year when I declared my second major and first minor in the in-law program that I discovered that I was exactly where I needed to be. It was my voice that needed to be heard in my classes, in my community, and on this campus. I remember I had a meeting with my BSOS advisor and she asked me why I wanted to be an attorney. Never before that moment had I had to explain my why. I realized when describing my career aspirations and why I wanted to be involved in criminal justice reform efforts as a pilot for change, that it wasn't a class or book that helped guide my passion. It wasn't a movie or show that made me want to be a big shot lawyer. It's what I see every day. The injustices and indifferences that drive my purpose and my passion to be a valuable instrument of change. It's my brothers and friends gone too soon that pushed me to want better for my city. My junior year is where I started aligning my passions with my aspirations on purpose. 
after that fateful day in my advisor's office. I began internship opportunities, network outreach, and mentorship, taking full advantage of what BSAWS had to offer. Things weren't perfect, nights were still long, mornings still early, and professors still way too excited for 8 a.m. classes. <laughs> but my drive became as powerful as it has ever been. I stopped letting my fears slow me down. I stopped letting my losses anchor my progress, and I started living and dreaming bigger than ever. When I realized that my journey was my own and that there was no manual or directions on exactly how everything should go, I started to enjoy my time and live in my process. I stand before you today, a senior, debt-free, having graduated in three years, a double major, Thank you. A double major and a double minor with numerous ambassadorships, honor societies, e-board positions, awards, and so much more. Having had experiences to travel abroad, fellowship in graduate school programs, and meet some amazing pioneers. But more importantly, I stand before you as someone who is proud of where I come from, proud of where I am, and proud of where I know I'm going. My name is Taylor Omari Smith. I was born and raised in Baltimore City. My siblings and I have parents who have always shown us hard work and love in a city that shows no mercy. I am the first of my siblings to graduate college, and by God's grace, my testimony will live wherever I leave my footprint. I highlight my personal journey for you guys today to emphasize the obstacles and overcomings we have all faced in our own respect over our time here at UMD. I'm proud of us. But here we are, better than where we started, wiser than where we first began, and after a plethora of first steps into places and situations that we may not have expected or planned, we all share a common step today. Across this stage, we step to best in our hard work and accomplishments as the great men and women from the University of Maryland College Park. I'm proud of us. To Dean Ball, BSAW staff, professors, mentors, family, and friends, we thank you. This is not just our journey, it is yours. And to my fellow graduates, class of 2019, this is merely the beginning. Be loyal to your future and remember that the past is behind you to push you forward. Remember that life is a marathon and not a sprint. Congratulations on all your accomplishments and stand strong in your very first step to your very new journey post undergrad. I'm proud of us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Taylor Amari, for, one, for that wonderful message. We are honored to have students such as yourself in our college. Now we come to the part of our ceremony in which the College of Behavioral and Social Sciences honors each graduate, publicly recognizing their achievements while at the university. To officiate over the awarding of graduate degrees, I am pleased to ask Associate Dean of Graduate Studies and Faculty Affairs, Dr. Wayne McIntosh, to please come forward. Will the students who are to receive the degree of Doctor of Philosophy please stand? Dean Ball, in accordance with the recommendation of the faculty, I request that you recognize these graduates who have successfully completed all requirements for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. I am pleased to accept the faculty's recommendation and I'm honored to recognize these graduates who have successfully completed all the requirements for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. 
Will the doc doctoral students please approach the platform? Please step forward as Dean McIntosh calls your name. The doctoral students will be hooded by their dissertation advisors, symbolizing the significant achievement of receiving the highest academic degree awarded by the university. Michael Humber, Geographical Sciences. Dr. Humber will be hooded by Dr. Chris Justice. Suzanne Marcellus, Geographical Sciences. Dr. Marcellus will be hooded by Dr. Ralph Dubaya. Joshua Langeland, Survey Methodology. Dr. Langeland will be hooded by Dr. Katherine Abraham. Hannah Samuelson, Psychology. Dr. Samuelson will be hooded by Dr. James Grant. Fatima Zara, Sociology. Dr. Zara will be hooded by Dr. Sangeeta Madhavan. These students have worked a very long time, and I assure you, in the case of the PhD, sometimes a very long time, to achieve this honor. They all deserve our heartfelt congratulations for this achievement. Will all the students receiving the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, the highest degree we give in this country, please once again stand. Everyone join me in congratulating this distinguished group of graduates. Please be seated. Will the students who are to receive degrees of Master of Arts, Master of Science, and Master of Professional Studies please stand? Dean Ball, in accordance with the recommendation of the faculty, I request that you recognize these graduates who have successfully completed all requirements for the degrees of Master of Arts, Master of Science, and Master of Applied Professional Studies. I am pleased to accept the faculty's recommendation and I'm honored to recognize these graduates who have successfully completed all requirements for the degrees of Master of Arts, Master of Science, and Master of Professional Studies. Would the master students please approach the platform?
Now presenting the Master of Professional Study in Criminology and Criminal Justice China program. Ziling Chen. Xin Yue He. Hao Huang. Xin Ling Huang. Ziqi Huang. Jie Jian. Zi Hao Li. Xiao Yan Lü. Meng Xue Shi. Yu Chen Song. Chang Yu. Zi Xuan Zhang. Xin Zhao. Chen Chen Zhu. Wei Zhu. Isaac Booth. Nazma Sultana. Now presenting the master's students in geospatial information sciences. Hamdiat Baba Adam. Junru Chen. Joshua Gonzalez. Aaron Kelly. Herbert Kennedy. Michael Patrick Murphy. Dallas Ann Nicolette. Helena McQuan Tarikan. Craig Stephen Wynn. Tian Yi Zeng, Jin Yi Cai, Qu Chen Gu, Nan Jia, Thank you, Ming Jing Li, Zhuo Yi Li. Xin Ye Wang, Shuai Xu, Jin Ting Zhang, Zhao Min Zhang, Jun Yan Zhou, Bo Yang Zhou, Hao Ren Wang. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Now presenting the master's students in geospatial intelligence. Madeline Elizabeth Guy. Nina Fuller Smith. Now presenting the master's students in applied economics. Kathleen Nancy Mamedovich. Sainan Xu. Kevin McCulloch Riordan. Matthew Schwartz. 
Frederick Charles Ashton, Nathaniel Stephen Drake, David Vine, Laura Ruiz, Dilnagar Dolkin, Lona Morrow, William Kinsler. Now presenting the Master's Students in Clinical Psychological Science. Madeline Jane Albert. Valerie Diane Bradley. Stephen William Byrne. Kayla Mel Mel Melanie Dennis. Rebecca Foss. Dayuti Ganesh. Justine Glieger. Sarah Gleese. Michael Shamir Hopkins Gross. Share Marie Horn. Peter Mikowski. Yancy Nesbitt. Ryan Daniel Orth. Erica Owushu. Megan Marie Powell. Hannah Christina Pulcasto. Logan Marie Schwartz. And now presenting the master's students in industrial organizational psychology. <laughs> Connor Grace Bartholomew. Lauren Rosemary Moretti. Sumaya Williams. Caria Elise Traub. Kimberly Ann Kruger. Angela Vaughn. Jenna Nicole Patsella. Rose Marie Villatoro. Lauren Lily Allen. Blessing Awi. <laughs> Ilya Burke. <laughs> Akid Harris. <laughs> Sarah Bittner. <laughs> Jonathan Harrington. Thomas Riley Niles. <laughs> Natalie Jacobson. <laughs> Lindsay Horn. Yeah. Enrique Sosa. <laughs> David Fishkin. <laughs> Janira Johnson. <laughs> Joel Saunders.
all the recipients of the master's degrees please stand once more. Please join me in applauding these graduates. Congratulations to you all. Please be seated. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to officiate over the recognition of students receiving their baccalaureate degrees. Now we will introduce all of our undergraduates. Will the graduates in anthropology please stand? Will the graduates in environmental science and policy please stand? Will the graduates in geographical sciences please stand? Will the graduates in government and politics please stand? Will the graduates in the hearing and speech sciences please stand? Will the graduates in the psychology department please stand? Will the graduates in sociology please stand? Dean Ball. Will the, Will the graduates in, in economics please stand? And will the graduates in criminology and criminal justice please stand? Okay, now, <laughs> Dean Ball, in accordance with the recommendation of the faculty, I request that you recognize these graduates who have successfully completed all requirements for the degree Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. Dean McIntosh, I accept the faculty's recommendation and I'm pleased to recognize these graduates who have successfully completed all requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. At this point, each graduate will be crossing the stage to be individually recognized. Obviously, some students will be recognized earlier in the process and some later. As a courtesy to everyone, I'm asking that all in attendance remain in their seats until every graduate has been recognized. This is the last step in a long process and a special day for everyone here. Please permit all to enjoy this occasion by minimizing disruption until the ceremony is finished. Please be seated. The baccalaureate graduates will now be introduced by academic major. As students cross the stage, they will be congratulated by Dean Ball and the chair of their department, and then return to their seat. Associate Dean Jeff Lucas, Associate Dean Catherine Russell, and Assistant Dean Kim Nickerson, We'll read the undergraduates' names. And now presenting the graduating class in African American Studies. Samaria Asia Najee Cooper. And now I will be presenting the graduating class in anthropology. Minyo Asefa. Laura Buckta, Lisa Michelle Defabog, Claire Marie Jamison, Tybebe Ephraim Million, Christopher 
Paul Revis. Isaiah Dara Cheshark. And now present and now presenting the graduating class in criminology and criminal justice. Aliyah Inaya Ubas. Taylor Omari Smith. James Thomas Adai. Spencer David Beam. Alex Stratos Berati. Mary Jane Beckworth. Kaylee Sienna Boyden. Lauren Bailey Kane. Branson Samuel Cameron. Taylor Ann Kamoin. Miles David Salvador Carpella. Adam Joseph Crooks. James Dean Deacon. Alyssa Michelle Dolan. Taylor Alyssa Duigan. Danny Barrows Ferreira. Ashley Brianna Funk. Brenda Crystal Garcia. Lorenzo Harrison. Juan Herrera Cruz. Anthony Michael Holly. Long Fi Hua. Grace He. Brianna Marie Irwin. Noah Abraham Ishmael. Chase Robert Cayley. Tamara King. Miriam Elizabeth Larborough. Michael Jacob LeBron. Joshua Sunho Lee. Shartira Monkey Little. Matthew Richard Marcel. Sophia Louise Marcella. Anthony Michael Mizell. Michael Joseph Mostowski. Kevin Edward Moss. Angeline Mendez. Sky Angelique Riolubin Navarro. Yeah. 
Joseph Anthony Colasito Ordinario. Samantha Constant Ovington. Nicholas Avides Ashkayom. Romel Josue Pazmino. Dania Pineda. Erica Prudencio. Megan Mary Regitz. Zachary Danson Rupert. Caitly, Caitlin Amy Shun. Cody Smores. Michael P. Spellman. Ashley Renee Stroop. Alyssa Lynn Thompson. Brianne Christine Walters. Christopher Stephen White. Haley Alice Wolf. Jennifer Zeladon. And now presenting the graduating class in economics. Michelle Elizabeth Abel. Arum Kumar Akabedi. Edgar Giovanni Altamarino. Alexander Daniel Asifa. Stephen Michael Baca. Stephen Richard Baloni. Bhavjit Singh Basson. Ron Batsri. Taylor April Bossy. Ryan Dietrich Brand. Yeah. Emily Brahman. Bradley Wade Casto. Caroline Francis Carrington. Yvonne Anna Castillo. Kaylin Danielle Ching. Donald Michael Colgrove. Santiago Ortiz Cortez. Jonathan Samuel Davis. Saren Gemechu de Sisa. Oyindamala Obimwala Omoye. Stephen Pierce Esha. Panayotsis Vasilas Vasilios Fotaplos Matthew Luther Forbes Franklin A. Franco 
Oscar Alexander Gomez. Claire Elizabeth Haas. Robert Helmut Hobby Course. Arif Kwasi Hafiz. Kenneth Lewis Harry. Alex Balmori Hernandez. Adam Scott Hermeter. Pirina Hernandez Luperdi. Keith Young. Sartrio Hardantio Joyo Ridardo. Elias Arthur Kibbe. Chan Wu Kim. Toby Michael Lane. David Lee. Bronwyn Damore Libby. Estefan Ariel Lev. Elaine Lee. Kwan Wai Lim. Shijun Liu. Jin He. Zialan Li. Xiaoming Liu. Shannon Elizabeth Martin. Patrick Thomas Mead. Patrick Clayton Meadowcroft. Olua Timmy Lewemian. Oh, dear Jimmy. Andrew Wyatt Orr. Tiffany Josephine Munoz Zigara. Charles Trinho Enno. Seon Podigaling Guang. Dylan Mark Purcell. Samuel Dylan Roel. Megan Maria Rust. Daniela Pascale Susente. Andrew Tillman Rosenblatt. William John Rooney. Numra Sheikh. Omar Shalabi. Antonia D. Soares. Tristan Henry Shapshiri. Gregory Ryan Thompson. Ethan H. Trout. Alexander John Wasden. Gong Shui Wong. Keith T. White. Annie Zijing Wu. Jake Benjamin Spindell. And now presenting the graduating class in environmental science and policy. Owen Edward Flood. 
Evelyn Marie Maldonado. Skylar Nicole Petrick. Catherine Rachel Ryder. Catherine Grace Schutz. Michael Alexander Tidwell. And now presenting the graduating class in Geographical Sciences. Aiden Keegan Benton. James Franklin Britton. Alexander Martin Keller. Angel M. Lopez. Joseph H. Lausch. Allison Rebecca Nussbaum. Joseph Leo O'Brien. Donna Dari Renuka Rajapakter, share. Caleb Lemma Sigai. Abdul Kayum Alabi Al Maruf. now presenting the graduating class in government and politics. Temi Lola Afulobi. Evelyn Aguilerun. Dunya Ben Ahmed. Emily Diane Bernard. Haley Gretchen Brown. Darius Isaiah Craig. Christopher Michael Deloya. Gideon Isaac Epstein. Amanda Lee Fiddler. Aliyah Gima Harnud. William Dantrez Jackson. Courtney Alicia Kaufman. Erica Ashley Klein. Billy Ray Kennedy. Caitlin May Cruel. Chad Alexander Kewins. Dominic Moran. Stephen Nicholas Ondrich. Adria Obonio. Fiona Tippett O'Brien. Connor Robert Peterson. Anastasia Demi Struboulis. Michael James Sullivan. Jason Hao Peng. Taylor Omari Smith.
Calvin Davis Schulk. Savina Simran Suri. Matthew John Brown. Carlos Andres Sanchez Fonseca. Brendan Patrick Belt. Dursam Kea. Tessa Oaks. Madison Brooke Stetch. Desha McKnight. Alexandra Marissa White. Alexis Morgan Zimmerman. And now presenting the graduating class in hearing and speech sciences. Nicole Elizabeth Brooks. Sarah Cusick. Elizabeth Ann Desoy. Courtney Patrice Strawn. Kelsey Ellery Golding. Aisha Hayat. Patricia Malazarte. Rebecca Siri Higgins. Bridget Jean McNamara. Mary Zoe. And now presenting the graduating class in psychology. Sarah Christie Adams. Uluashaya Fumi, Amomi, Akira Doe. Thank you. So glad we all heard that. Aisha Alam. Dia Bandarkar. Poppy Jean Busby. Maya Elizabeth Kudel. Gabrielle Sanet Klingen. Lexi Taylor Castanzo. Andrew John DaCosta. Logan Renee Edmondson. Double major psychology and criminology and criminal justice. Isabella Falide, Felipe, I'm sorry. Brian Ariel Garcia. Gina Marie Garza. Antonio. Gavira Rozo. Angel Desira Graham. Kiana Jade Hacker. Emily Rose Hall, double major psychology and criminology and criminal justice. Sarah Julia Holliday.
Janet Jesse. Elise Cirilla Kane. Karina Karner. Marina Angelica Curlo. Liza Kessler. Nivedita Kishore. Cameron Blair Krisoff. Sabrina Noel Ledone. Tyler Ryan Levy. Victoria Jean Ludwig. Quinn Curley Magner. Adina Fatima Malik. Ariane Maisel. Amelia Ann Milhem. Milhem. Jennifer Nirit Milhese. Milhese. Kelly Ann Mazingo. Kara Gabriel Murphy. Kalarina Nicole Muslimani. Alexa Morgan Knappenberger. Chisholm Faith Anwegbu. Simone Sebastiana Perez Garcia. Elisa Pressil. Sebastian Michael Max Prilipper, double degree philosophy and psychology. Akila Jagruti Ramanathan. Leora Raskas. Thank you. Tabitha Claire Raskin. Abigail Ridgeway. Bessie Rebecca Rodriguez Diaz. Atsue Suai. Lucas Daniel Shapiro. Tyler Ray Short. Dominique Simmons. Mariam Cesar. Tamara Soleimani. Audrey Strand. Priya Tuckley. Brooke Ashley Vogel. Ida Wong. Elizabeth Maria Zabala. And now presenting the graduating class in sociology. Chioma Emilia Aha Gotu.
Capri Alexander. Hamza Ansari. Sununu Ba. Congratulations. Thanks, thanks. Okay, thank you. Andrew Sullivan Boom. Bloom. I'm sorry, Andrew. Madeline Marie Kashohans Gord. Lonnie Alexander Davis. Justin Hotch. Nicholas Joseph Jacobs. Joseph Anthony Letts. Congratulations, Joey. Blessing Odilatu. Enoch Bahani Ofori. Keisha Thakor. Sean Michael Moses. This platform, this platform is not large enough to hold everyone who has played an integral role in making this day possible. A special debt of gratitude is owed to the outstanding faculty of this college and to the dedicated staff who have given so much of themselves to the graduates. As this ceremony comes to an end, I want to extend to all of our graduates our most sincere congratulations on behalf of the College of Behavioral and Social Sciences and the University of Maryland, we wish you success in all of your future endeavors. As an alumnus, you now have a special relationship with the university. We will need you in the future to support us, to brag about us, to send us your children. Please keep in touch. Let us know about your successes. And if you stay close, think about serving as a mentor to those who come after you. Join us for campus events or stop by to visit when you're back in the neighborhood. I will now ask any parents, family members, or guests in attendance today who are alumni of the University of Maryland to please stand to help me recognize the graduates today to their new role as alumni. Would the graduates please join your fellow alumni and stand. I would like to ask our student speaker, Taylor Amari, to lead the graduating class in an important tradition. Class of 2019, we can now officially move our tassel from right to left as the final symbol of our graduation. So please join me. Congratulations, class of 2019. Thank you, Taylor Amari. Let's applaud all today's graduates. You are now University of Maryland alumni. Congratulations. Go Terps. Please stand for the recessional of the platform party.